AI generated work won the first place. All the artists are like, hey, that's not fair. AI by itself will not take over your job, but those who use it will do. AI 2024. Hi, friends, Ruslan is here. Oh, welcome back to my channel. It is January 2024, which means we have the whole 2023 to review. So let's get started. In AI world, Generative AI became the talk of the town. One of the biggest players in this field is ChatGPT. And oh boy, it made waves. With a whooping 180.5 million users worldwide, including 92% of Fortune 500 companies, ChatGPT is like Beyonce of AI. <coughs> but wait, there is more. Only in Canada, a quarter of the population is using AI on the job, and this number is expected to grow by 32% annually. Here's some of the US-based stats. 57% of American workers have trained ChatGPT, and 16% regularly use it at work. Surprisingly, only 17% of them said that their employers have clear policies around AI. Hmm. Something to keep in mind. And I see some new jobs openings here. The highest percentage of ChatGPT users are based in America with around 47%, followed by our friends in India of about 6%. Around 66% of ChatGPT users are male. So, if you are a male American, you are in a good company. <laughs> Got the joke? Now, if you don't know, ChatGPT offers a free version based on GPT 3.5 model and plus version based on GPT 4 model. They claim plus version is 40% more accurate and 82% safer. The cost of plus version of ChatGPT is $20 per month and if you are going to use it for business, it is worth investment, but maybe not as much as for personal users or for small tasks here and there. But here are some interesting statistics based on authoritative sources like OpenAI and the Reuters revealed that 25% of US companies saved 50 to 70k dollars using ChatGPT, while 11% saved over 100k USD. No wonder that AI is taking over the world. <clears throat> Correction, AI by itself will not take over your job, but those who use it will do. So jump on the wagon, learn about it, subscribe to this channel, start using and experimenting with AI, and soon you will also be able to outsource and repeated and boring tasks. AI has been flexing its muscle in various fields, creating new materials, discovering antibiotics, and even contributing to vaccine development. Pretty cool, right? Especially accounting for the recent COVID-19 pandemic. But not everyone is happy about AI's creative endeavors. For example, Jason Allen's AI-generated work named Theatre the Opera Special won the first place at the Colorado State Fair. AI-generated work won the first place. All the artists are like, hey, that's not fair. But Allen argues that he didn't break any rules. Creative controversy, if you ask me. Speaking of controversies around OpenAI, some prominent authors like Branzen and Risham from Authors Guild, as mentioned by New York Times magazine, sue OpenAI for using their works and books for training their model without permission or compensation. While OpenAI and its supporters argue that they do not copy-paste and copyrighted material, but use it to train and change it in, in the process. But it's not all about lawsuits and drama around OpenAI. For example, famous people like Chinese Nobel laureate Mo Yan used to ChatGPT to write his speech, while the viral author Valhini Vara found AI to be a co-creator that unlocks hidden aspects of human consciousness. So you can really use OpenAI and ChatGPT as your personal assistant, and it's all about the use. 
but AI is not only for workspace and um, creative endeavors. It also made its way into the education sector. While there is still a long way to go, but AI is being used in research and in communications, but universities are skeptical about it. For example, they even tried to ban ChatGPT and use some uh, anti-cheating software. But interesting thing, the Tenford University Human Centered Artificial Intelligence research found that AI detectors are biased against non-native English writers. So universities had to stop those anti-cheating softwares soon after implementing them. A nice endeavor was made by the UK's colleges, including Oxford and in Cambridge, to agree to let students and teachers become AI literate and use the technology ethically and a lot of people believe that AI now should be taught in schools similar to coding for example According to KPMG, more than half, about 52% of Canadian students aged 18 plus uh, survey are using generative AI to help them in their schoolwork, despite 60% feeling that it um, constitutes cheating. Around 13% of all US teens have used ChatGPT to help them with their schoolwork as well. Some statistics also say that cheating using generative AI is overblown and educators should focus more on the root cause of cheating instead of the strict policies around use of AI in schoolwork. Some studies found that students who feel safe place in school are less likely to cheat, even if they are doing poorly. So, education non-profit Challenge Success said that teachers should create a climate of care wherein every student knows they are an individual. They also recommend reducing the workload because stressed out students are more likely to cheat. So here is the end of this 2023 overview of AI news. Even though it is mostly based on OpenAI and ChatGPT, a lot of this relates to many generative AI trends that we can see today. And it is definitely not over yet. And in the next video, I will talk about AI trends in the upcoming months and 2024. So stay tuned for the next video. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. See you next time.